In this video, I'll show you how to calculate this year's Scottish income tax in Excel. The Scottish income tax system follows a progressive system, meaning that those taxpayers that have a higher income, such as those earning over 150,000, will be in a higher tax band, whereas lower earning taxpayers, such as those earning 14,000, for example, will be in a lower tax band. Those earning more than 100,000 will have their allowance drop by one pound for every two pounds that their income exceeds 100,000 pounds. In this video, we'll create a calculator which allows you to enter a taxable income figure like this and then automatically calculates what your annual and monthly tax payment would be. Before we start, I want to emphasize that I'm not a qualified accountant or advisor and you should not use this video to substitute tax advice. Firstly, we need to calculate the difference between the taxable income and 100,000 in order to adhere to this rule. However, when the taxable income is say 50,000, which is below 100,000, the difference will of course be zero as the rule only applies when the taxable income exceeds 100,000. We can write an if statement to reflect this. If the taxable income is greater than 100,000, then we do want to find the difference. However, if it is not greater than 100,000, then we want it to return zero. Therefore, when we change the taxable income to a figure above 100,000, we can see that the difference is calculated. Next, we want to calculate the deduction in the tax-free allowance if the income is indeed greater than 100,000. Since the allowance drops by one pound for every two pounds that our income exceeds 100,000, we need to divide the difference by two. However, we need to ensure that the deduction does not exceed the tax-free allowance of 12,570. So if the difference divided by two is greater than 12,570, then return this figure. If the condition does not hold, then simply calculate the difference divided by 2. This way, even if our taxable income is above 125,000, the deduction is capped at 12,570. Next, we need to build this calculation table. Firstly, let's input the taxable incomes by taking the figures from this sheet. However, we need to ensure that we subtract the deduction from the taxable incomes to account for incomes above 100,000. The personal allowance is not relevant to the 150,000 limit, so we can keep that as it is. Since our taxable income is 130,000, which is above 100,000, our calculation table has subtracted the deduction from the taxable income boundaries. If our taxable income is below 100,000, then the taxable income figures become the same as the original boundaries. Before we calculate the tax payable for each taxable income, let's copy the tax rates which are given here. Finally, let's move on to the tax payable. The tax payable when our taxable income is zero is of course zero. The amount payable when our income is 12,570 is also zero, as the 19% tax rate only applies when the taxable income is 12,571 or greater, not when it's 12,570. The tax payable when the taxable income is 14,667 is slightly trickier. First, we take the tax payable in the previous band. We then add this to the difference between 14,667 which is our taxable income, and 12,570, which is the previous boundary. We then close brackets and multiply this by the applicable tax rate, which is 19%. We can then simply toggle this formula down to provide the tax payable for the remaining boundaries. Next, we can calculate the intermediary calculations and outputs. As a reminder, our annual tax payment is the amount payable in the previous tax band 
plus the rate of the current tax band multiplied by the amount payable in the current tax band. We can find each of these using the VLOOKUP function. To find the amount payable in the previous tax band, we type equals VLOOKUP. We're looking up the taxable income, which is £50,000, within the table we just made, and we're looking to retrieve the value in the second column, which corresponds to the tax payable, so we type 2. And finally, we want it to be an approximate match, so we type 1. To find the rate of the current tax band, we once again use the VLOOKUP function. The only difference now is that we're looking to retrieve the value in the third column, which corresponds to the tax rate. The amount payable in the current tax band is 50,000 minus 43,662, as this is the taxable income in the below tax band. So we first take the taxable income and then use the VLOOKUP function to retrieve 43,662, which is found in the first column of our table array. We are given 6,338, which is indeed 50,000 minus 43,662. Now that we have the intermediary calculations, we can calculate the annual tax payment. This is the amount payable in the previous tax band, plus the rate of the current tax band, multiplied by the amount payable in the current tax band. The monthly tax payments is the annual tax payments divided by 12. So for a taxable income of 50,000, our annual tax payments is 8,979. We can now check whether our calculation works for an income of 110,000, which is above 100,000. The amount payable in the previous tax band is 6,381, which is correct as shown. The rate of the current tax band is 41%, as our income is between these two boundaries. Finally, the amount payable in the current tax band is 71,338, which is indeed 110,000 minus 38,662 after adjusting for the allowance rule. So that's how you can calculate this year's Scottish income tax in Excel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.